اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to perform correlation analysis with confidence interval. For this I am going to use SPSS 29 version. I am going to calculate the correlation between vision, development and organizational performance. To do so I am going to go to analyze, correlate, bivariate with confidence intervals. Now I want the correlation between these three variables. Now you can do it, that is you can do the correlation of vision with development and OP, but then there will be some missing output as you won't have the correlation between development and organizational performance. For example, if you press OK here, now it is running bootstrapping. Now there is no correlation between development and OP in the results. So let's go back. Go to analyze, correlate, bivariate, and I'm just going to put these back up here. Or, in order to avoid repetition, I'm just going to have two here and one here. And I'm going to use bootstrapping technique. For now, I'm just going to go with the default values. Now, what I do is I'll press OK and it will run the bootstrapping for 1000 samples. Normally, the recommended is between 5,000 to 10,000. Now, if you look here, here are my results. The correlation between vision and organizational performance, the Pearson correlation is 0.619. The significance is point less than 0 0.001. This means that the relationship between vision and organizational performance is significant. Now, the next thing that I'm interested in, this is your sample size. I'm interested in the confidence interval. The lower level and the upper level. The relationship between development and organizational performance is also significant. The two asterisks and they are significant at 0 0.01 level. The sample size and the 95 confidence interval, the lower level and the upper level. Now what do we mean by this confidence interval? Let's understand this. Understanding confidence interval. A confidence interval is a range of values that is likely to contain the true value of population parameter. Now since we cannot study the population, we have confidence interval to provide us with the true value of the population parameter such as the mean of mean or proportion. Now the upper and the lower bounds of the interval are called the upper level confidence interval and the lower level confidence interval as we saw in the output earlier. Now they provide a range within which the true value is likely to fall. So the true value of the correlation is likely to fall between this lower and upper confidence interval. The true value for the correlation between development and OP is likely to fall between 0.644 and 0.784. Now in simpler terms, it is range of values that we are certain that the true value falls within based on the data we have, that is our sample. Now the true value of the population parameter is the actual value of the characteristic of the entire population for, from which the sample is drawn. For example, if we wanted to know the average height of all adult humans, the true value of the population parameter would be the actual height of all adult humans. But the problem is we cannot measure the true value of population parameter directly as it would be invisible. So instead, we use our sample to calculate the true value of the population parameter through confidence intervals. Now, for example, in this case, if the lower level confidence interval for the correlation between the two variables is this and the upper level is this, as we see here, 0 0.528 and 0 0.701 for the correlation between vision and organizational performance, 
This means that the higher or high level of confidence, usually denoted by the percentage 95%, that the true population correlation will fall between 0.528 and 701. And we are 95% confident that this will happen that the correlation between vision and organizational performance will fall between 0.528 and 0.701 for the population. The correlation coefficient is a measure of association and values ranges between minus 1 to 1 where minus sign indicates this, the negative relationship and no sign or the positive sign will show the positive relationship. Now in this case, it is moderately positive. So this is how you can interpret the confidence interval when you are running the correlation analysis. Thank you very much.